another common defense that could be used in your case is the defense of duress. Now, duress is a defense that applies if you committed a crime while acting under duress. A person acts under duress if by some kind of threat or menace you are required or forced to commit some kind of crime to avoid immediate injury to yourself or to someone else. Therefore, is a requirement that you commit crime A or else we will kill your family. Therefore, duress would apply in that situation. In addition, duress does not apply if the threat is from the future. Meaning, if a person says, I'm going to kill you if you do not rob this bank next week, that would be a future threat. And a future threat is not a viable option under the duress defense. In addition, murder is a, is a charge in which duress does not apply to. Now, the belief under duress has to be something that is reasonable under the circumstances. A person holding a gun to your head, forcing you to commit a crime, is much more reasonable than a stranger on the street who simply tells you, oh, I've kidnapped your family and I'm going to kill them unless you rob this bank. In other words, duress is compelling a person to commit a crime because they're trying to avoid some kind of serious injury to themselves or someone else or some kind of serious financial harm to them as well. An example of this would be, let's say a person kidnaps your family, shows you photos of them and says, if you do not rob this bank, I will kill your family. Now, in that circumstance, if you committed a bank robbery, you would be not liable or found guilty because of the fact that you were forced to do this under threats of duress to your family in this circumstance. Another way to describe duress is that it's the lesser of two evils. So you robbed a bank in order to avoid your family being murdered. Now, to learn more about the defense of duress or other defenses that may apply to you, call the Inland Empire Criminal Defense Law Firm today.